Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an absolutely gorgeous day for once here in the UK and the perfect day therefore to give this Range Rover a proper clean and clean off the thousands of winter miles on this car. I have not had this car cleaned the entirety of winter. We're now about, as I'm coming into uh, filming this, uh, coming into March. So it's been at least four months, if not five, since this car has had a clean. So it's extremely exciting because we're gonna to get to see what the paintwork actually looks like again. And you might be wondering why I'm surrounded by a ton of yellow boxes. Well, that's because the legends that are Karsha, which if you don't know, are the sort of goats of the sort of cleaning products lineup, um, have sent me some stuff to do this video. So what they've sent me is some interior cleaning products. So we're gonna be looking at the interior as well today. They've sent me this, which is a compact battery vacuum. And um, they've also sent me a box full, really nice little, sort of gift package actually of products for interior cleaning we've got cockpit care matte finish car glass cleaner rim cleaner mm. <laughs> sorry that was awful interior cleaner polish and wax and some screen wash as well so nice little box there with some some bits in which is really fun and then they sent me those two bits but i actually went and bought this kasha k2 pressure washer so that we could do the outside as well because um I do have an old pressure washer, which is really, really bad, and I sort of needed a new one anyway, and I thought, as Karsha had so kindly sent me this stuff, I might as well just go out and get one of these. So it's the K2, I believe that's the cheapest one you can buy, and I'm not sure if we've got the snow foam lance for it, but we have got snow foam, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to do the sort of, you know, paint the car white. If not, maybe I'll go out and buy one quickly. But yeah, we've got all of these really exciting products to use that I'm, I'm super excited about. And that's probably enough talking. We're gonna just get the stuff plugged in. I guess we'll start with, I guess we'll start with the outside considering it's sunny right now and it's good weather. Yeah, give the car a good spray down, get some snow foam all over it, give it a good old scrub up. And then we'll look at the inside, inside cause I, I'm interested by this, this wet back thing. So stay tuned guys, I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get cleaning. Okay, so that's the entire car jet washed. I have to say, considering this is the entry level version, the pressure on this is quite remarkable. It's at least twice as strong as the sort of supermarket alternative I'd had previously to this one. And in particular, the sort of um, brake deposits and brake dust on the wheels, on the alloys, the way they came out, I've never quite seen that before. It was like I was painting the wheels white. So um, yeah, really good. Now, what I wanna check out here is the snow foam bit. So there is a little nozzle that I can clip in along with a, a bucket of snow foam product. So hopefully then we can sort of spray that and paint the car white. So I'll leave the camera here actually. We'll just start with the back just to see if it works. We'll give it a little test um, because I haven't bought a specific Karsha snow foam lens. So I don't know, you know, how good this will be, but we'll give it a go nonetheless. I'll go and get it now and flick the camera and see you in a sec. So I've got the lance. So I'm going to twist that, pull it out. Then we've got this little thing here. So like I said, I don't think it's the proper 
one but it does look like it may be adjustable so we're gonna push that in and is that it no absolute rookie here push that in and twist it that's in and then we've got the little plastic tube that delivers the foam that's in securely and then we've got Karsha's car shampoo so then pop that in there <laughs> this is exciting and let's go twist it on securely there you go that's it should be good to go should we see oh yes Okay, so as you can see, it's not a proper snow foam delivery because it's still giving out quite a lot of power. And that's still really satisfying. So I probably need to go and buy a snow foam lance. I don't think I'm gonna do that now because actually I've already started cleaning the car, so I wanna keep it going. But yeah, as you can see, it sort of drains off quite quickly without the proper thing. And so, yeah, we might need to go and upgrade that at some point, but we'll let that soak in for a bit, jet it off again, and then we'll give it a bit of a scrub with some proper shampoo in a bucket. Okay, I changed my mind. I wasn't too happy with the snow foam situation on the last one, so I've just been out and bought this, which is essentially the same thing, but it's adjustable, so I think the foam should be thicker and the power coming out of the nozzle should be less so that it's, you know, sticks to the car. I have just given it a little test, as you can see, and it is better. It's still not amazing, but it's, it's better. So um, without further ado then, let's get the car all foamed up. You let that sink in break up any of the sort of compounds still remaining on the paintwork after the sort of water pressure wash. Then we'll water pressure wash it again, jet off anything, let all of the detergent run off. And then, yeah, like I say, buckets, nice big sponge, give it a good old scrub over. And also it's really easy with these cars to forget the roof. So the car, the Range Rover is in access mode, which is the lowest suspension setting. And because I've got the non-deployable and just permanent side steps, I can actually use them to stand on the edge of the car and see the roof so i'll make sure to do that as well anyway wish me luck this is better still not perfect but have a look at this so satisfying this is honestly the most satisfying thing in the world oh ha -ha. I've always wondered what my Range Rover would look like in white and well, there's your answer. So I'll go around the rest of the car, do that, let it all sink in. It's really exciting actually, this is good fun. I haven't done this in so long. Just to clarify then, if you want to get the exact same snow foam results as I'm getting in this video, I'll leave a link in the description or some links to show you exactly which products I'm using, but I'll just explain. So as I mentioned, it's the Karsha K2 pressure washer, which is the entry level one, I believe. There might be a K1 actually, but this comes in around hundred pounds. So it's one of the cheaper, if not the cheapest. And then what I just went and bought was the FJ 10C foam connector. So that is this bit on here, which I've attached obviously to the end of the nozzle, which you just twist and clip in. So that's what I've just bought, which has the adjustable bit on it, which has obviously, it's a lot better than what I was doing earlier. And then it's the Karsha ultra foam cleaner. So this actually comes with a liter of it, but I'll need to top that up as it uses quite a lot of foam. So yeah, they're exactly what I'm using. Just you guys wondering. Okay, so now we've got a cold bucket and a hot bucket. I'm just gonna do this actually to um, spruce it up a little bit. Nice and frothy. So we've got the uh, Karsha shampoo in there, um, hot water, and we've got a nice sort of um, lamb's wool mitt, you know, 
sponge thing. Cold water to sort of rinse that off and get the dirt off before we apply it again. Um, as you can probably tell, I've had to leave it a little bit. So I'm gonna redo the snow foam all over, but we'll start with the front um, and then jet wash that off and then we'll get going. But we're losing light and I still need to do the interior. This does take a long time, but it's totally worth it because it's such a satisfying process. Um, and I really wish I had time and space actually, because I don't normally live here uh, to do this more often. But with these products, I just had to make the time and the space. So yeah, I'm gonna take this back off actually, put the snow foam attachment back on, and then we can um, crack on with the front of the car, getting it nice and clean. And then we'll dry it off with just a you know big old, I'll find it in a minute. It's a good, good towel thing I've got. And then we'll go around the rest of the car. So satisfying. I could literally do that all day. <laughs> so we'll let that one soak in, give it a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take off this attachment, pop back on the high power pressure nozzle. Uh, ready to then jet that off in a moment once it's sort of soaked in then what we'll do is obviously get the sponge on it and get scrubbing this is where the real work starts you see while we wait we can have a quick i was gonna say cup of tea because that seems like the right thing to say cup of coffee mm. stuff smells really good actually normally i would lick it but it's probably actually a really bad idea to do that We like to talk a lot on this channel about amazing things about the Range Rover and how much we love the Range Rover, which is absolutely, absolutely true. But one major disadvantage of the Range Rover is its size. And when you decide to clean it, that becomes quite apparent because, yes, I planned sort of the afternoon to do this video and realized quite quickly that's probably not enough time because of the sheer size of this thing. Hello, you all right? What a weird kid. Should have just given him a fiver to do this for me. God, I hate children. One thing I've also noticed is that I forgot to change into my sort of cleaning boots. So I'm now wearing white trainers and they're no longer white as you can probably see. Another rookie mistake from It's Joel. Right, so we'll jet off the front, now that it's all scrubbed down, then we'll give it a nice drying. You want to have a go? You? Squeeze it. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I think your mummy's coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> it's okay. Absolutely 
you no idea who that kid is, by the way. Anyway, what I would like to say is, with the thanks of that uh, young child that helped me jet wash this down, um, it's actually looking so, so clean. Now the paintwork is certainly not ideal everywhere on this car. Um, in fact, most places are not, you know, far, far from it. But what I was trying to say is that actually the bonnet is it's gorgeous. Um, I haven't got time to sort of wax this today or machine polish it or anything. Um, I don't actually have a, actually I do have a machine polisher now, but um, I haven't got time to do that. But I know that it would come up really nicely actually. If I can get the camera on it in a second, um, just to sort of show you the fleck coming out of this paintwork, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I just love, I'm sorry, but I just love this sort of smooth sweeping lines on these Range Rovers. They look fantastic, but mainly when you're in the driver's seat, uh, it just looks, you know, so commanding on the road. Anyway, I should probably crack on, but yeah, actually what I was just trying to point out is how unbelievable this has come out. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it this clean. Of course, if you remember, after I bought the car back in sort of June, um, iValet got their hands on it and they did their sort of full works, you know, clean, um, but they mainly focused on the interior. So they really only did sort of wash and a quick wax on the exterior because sort of when we film those videos, we only have sort of half a day to do the whole thing. So they can't focus on certain areas in as much detail as they'd like to. Nonetheless, um, this is just looking as good, if not better than then. Um, so obviously testament to the product, but also testament to just how lovely the paintwork is on this car. Really, really happy with the results so far. I'll just move this out of the way. I'll show you this a little bit closer up. Um, oh God, it looks gorgeous. Giverny Green um, is such a beautiful colour. But these headlights, I mean, look at them, they look brand spanking new, and I trust, trust me, they're not. And these wipers are just, oh, I love them. Can I just say something, actually? In my last video, I said about, you know, we were talking about upgrading um, the Range Rover. Now, Everything I said in that video still stands, but what I didn't point out and what I'm really appreciating now is I actually really like the way that these early models look. I love the big square headlights and I love this sort of plasticky grill. God, that needs a uh, re-securing, forget that. But I, I love it, you know, I, I, th I, think, I think these look almost more iconic than the facelift models because it harks back to when I first saw this car, which was when Clarkson, um, in one of his DVDs or videos, he tore down a speed camera with one of them. This is the new Range Rover, probably the best car money can buy. But the best thing about the new Range Rover, from my point of view, is that this towing eye on the back is designed to withstand a five-ton yank. Yeah, even just sort of the fog lights and everything, I think, on these. I don't know, I think I almost prefer it to the facelifts. Anyway, while well, we've got a bit of light left, let's zoom in a little bit on this paintwork. Yeah, so as you can see, it's really, really gorgeous. And um, yeah, everything's just coming out super, super nice. Even the black bits there. And obviously, yeah, got the rest of the car to do, but so far, so, 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 so good. And it looks like our little friend's joining us again. Hmm. Okay. Nice of you to offer to clean the car for me, Dad. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I gave you five quid. <laughs> Take more than five quid to make me I was going to say. <laughs> We're not cheap. No. Absolutely, I have my standards. Ah, oh, barely. <laughs> nice car, isn't it? It's all right. Do you like the Range Rover? I do. I do, actually. It's grown on me. Would you own one? No. Why? But I'm happy to drive yours. Yeah, why would you not own one? Because I still think it's a bit too big for most purposes. Yeah, Certainly in enough. the city. Yeah. 
but I do get why you know the driving position is just excellent. Um, you know, you can see everything, and it's it's like sitting in your armchair. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I love and it. And it's just yeah, good ride. New tyres really, or new wheels look so they much look better awesome, as well, don't they? they? And they're on Scorpion Pirellis, which are really good. Yeah. Sort of, they're sort of your Michelin Pilot Sports ref, uh, for 4x4s, because so they do everything. Nice. No, I love my sports cars, but I would always, like, I mean, I've got the Porsche at home. Yeah, exactly. But I'll drive this every time. Yeah, yeah. We'll see in the spring. Yeah, I was going to say. Once the air starts, conditioning doesn't work on this, actually. Ah, so. Yes, that's true. <laughs> we'll so see. Once it gets warmer, yeah. then the uh, Porsche hopefully will come out. Absolutely. Or well, even the Merc. Yeah, it's even the Merc. So you're going to wash mine as well, then? Absolutely not. I Why mean, would I wash a need... bag of nails? <laughs> There's no way to talk about my lovely Z4. <laughs> yeah. I like my Z4. I know you do. Yeah. It's not a bag of nails. There's an arse for every seat, as they say. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but when I clean these side steps at the bottom, the colour of the water coming off is not water colour, it's dark brown. So I guess that demonstrates how much dirt this detergent slash shampoo slash snow foam is picking up. Yeah, it's a real muddy brown, that. Very satisfying. Okay, so I'm done with the outside of the car. And I was saying to myself, actually, I cannot quite believe how good it looks. To be honest, uh, as you can see, I've lost light pretty quickly. So I did have to rush that last bit a little bit. But nonetheless, the car looks absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm not gonna put iValet UK out of business anytime soon with my cleaning abilities. And do take everything I said with a pinch of salt because I really, you know, I'm not qualified to valet a car properly, but to the best of my knowledge, I did the processes in sort of the correct way. Nonetheless, whatever I did, however I did it, it looks really, really good. And I'd say that's probably largely testament to um, the products that I've used today, which as you know about are from Karsha. And well, I highly recommend, they are uh, as great as I'd imagine they would be. So really, just really, really happy actually. I think afternoon, well spent because it looks it looks stunning and i tell you what this Giverny green paintwork is is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and it just perfectly suits this car and i tell you what also the fact that there isn't privacy glass on my range rover i think really complements the color but also just the general aesthetic of it i am falling in love with my car all over again yeah I'm, I'm in awe i'm genuinely in awe not youtube or i'm in awe i think it looks fabulous and given that i you know really rushed that last bit um it's just come out so so well anyway it is getting dull but i do want to um do some of the inside as much as i can before we really lose light and i want to try out the Karsha battery hoover thing because it's also got a feature where you can blow which will be particularly useful i think for sort of in between seats when there's just bits of dirt and dust that you can't get to with anything other than maybe a really fine brush hopefully it'll be powerful enough to blow some stuff out where i can then hoover it and then we'll try the wet vac thing as well i think um so let's jump in the car now maybe try and find some lights because it's getting dark but yeah what do you guys think i think that looks fantastic
So I think we're gonna go with interior cleaner and cockpit care matte finish. We've also got glass cleaner. We'll leave the windows for now. And we've also got <laughs> rim cleaner. We love that, don't we? And a polish and wax, which I think actually, I do apologize, but I think this might be for the paintwork, which it is. So sorry, Kasha, I didn't have time to try this out today, but I think um, we'll keep the car clean and then try and give it a, a little bit of a machine polish um, in the future. So thank you, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to use that right now. So let's, yeah, let's take the cockpit care mat finish and interior cleaner. And obviously I've got to work out how this thing works. I charged this overnight. This is a huge, I think it's an 18 volt, 18 volt battery. Um, it's almost like a V-lock that you'd put on a Sony FS7, a big sort of cine camera battery. But anyway, that seems pretty heavy duty. That's fully charged. That took about six hours or so. So make sure you do that well ahead of wanting to use it. And clearly it has power and it has various orifices. So I've got to work out which one to stuff a tube in. <laughs> and yeah, we'll have a look. I'm pretty sure that's probably how you take. Yes, that's how you get to the filter. Right, bear with me. So we're gonna pop this big chunky boy into there. And it's actually very simple. I made it sound quite complicated, but that's literally it. Yeah, great. And then we've got various attachments. So I think what we'll probably do actually is we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the front of the car because I th think that's probably all I'll get time to do today, in which case, might as well do the front because that's where I'm going to be sitting. No offence to you guys in the back, but sorry. So I think if we start with the front carpets, we'll use this one. Now I've got to work out the function for blowing on this because I know I said that it does that. And so I've just got to work out how, how to do that. Um, maybe it's in the other hole. Let me just try that. So I reckon if I plug that in there, then... Yep, it's now a hairdryer, look. So, perfect, nice and simple. I think I can chuck the attachments in here. Yes, I can. Okay, so we're gonna have that one and we're gonna have this one, which will be good for getting into those nooks and crannies. Like I say, potentially this thin one with the blowing function um, will be really handy. We'll, we'll find out anyway. So let's chuck that in there. Let's pull this out like that. Put this back in because we'll start with hoovering. Okay, as you can well see then, we've got a little bit of a mess going on down here. Give it a quick hoover. Then we'll give it a good old scrub and then we'll try and hoover it again. And we'll use the blower to get into some of these nooks and crannies. So do some hoovering first. So I'm just scrubbing the pedals with actually the sponge that I use to clean the car and the carpet because um, I was slightly wrong. It hasn't got a wet vac feature, so to speak, but it is suitable for vacuuming wet carpets and surfaces. So I'm gonna get this really nice and wet, try and scrub out all of the dirt that I can off these pedals and, and the carpets. And then we'll see, yeah, how well it copes with drying and, and, and mopping that up. But I have to say, for a battery powered Hoover, the pressure, um, or the hoovering power, should I say. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive actually, to be honest. So yeah, give them a little bit of scrub. And then what we'll do is when we dry them, I'm gonna apply some of the matte cockpit cleaner from Karsha onto these pedals, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so I've just applied the matte cleaner, and yeah, uh, it gives it a good finish. You see on there, I mean, that's beautiful. 
these pedals, I don't know how well the last shot picked it up, but they were absolutely filthy and caked. So um, nice result there. Quite happy with that. Again, not going into crazy lengths here um, because of, you know, it's getting dark. But yeah, jolly good really. What's that called? Cockpit care matte finish. It smells nice too, actually. Yeah, nice. Right, so the carpet actually um, is wet. I've just scrubbed it. And so we're gonna give that a little bit of a vacuum now and see how that goes. so all hoovered up handled the wet perfectly and yeah I mean gosh if you saw it a minute ago this is a mega improvement pretty happy with that sorry it's so dark guys um, I will allow three weeks for this next time because it is a big old job looking good Right guys, so I've just been going around doing a little bit more hoovering with the battery powered Karsha device. Really easy to use as you'd expect from Karsha. Um, really good, really um, good suction on it. And the blow in function was really handy for getting in between. I can't show you because it is just too dark, but getting in between the seats and the sort of central column. Um, Cause you could blow the dirt then out onto the main carpet and hoover it up with the sort of bigger attachment. So um, really handy feature that, that I've not had before. So yeah, super good, totally recommend it really happy with it and then uh what i wanted to show you which i think it might just be bright enough to to do is again i've just used the the matte um cockpit care matte finish from car show which they sent in that lovely gift box um on the sort of top of the dash here and there's a marked difference between where i've applied it and where i haven't i want to show you on the camera so if i grab a torch but yeah really actually genuinely impressed with that um because it just makes such a difference so we've applied it all the way uh on this side so far and I don't know how well this would but basically to where the screen is we've applied it and I don't think it is picking it up very well but to the naked eye you might be able to just see if the camera focuses there's just sort of a distinct shine here and a glimmer where I've applied it to sort of this section and then afterwards you lose it um, yeah, sorry, it's so, so dark and it's probably not really picking up, but that's really impressive stuff actually. And of course it smells delicious too. Um, so unfortunately, because it is so dark, we'll probably stop the video here. I think um, I have left it a little bit late to do any more and film it at least. I may as well carry on, but I think the camera's not really gonna work out. But the good news, I suppose, is that I'll have to come back and revisit this and do another episode on cleaning this car or potentially the Mercedes or uh, any of the cars, actually, um, and just use uh, this, this stuff again because it has been really, really fun. And I want to thank, obviously, Karsha once more for sending out the interior cleaning stuff um, because I love doing this and it gave me an excuse to sort of come and do it again. So... Yeah, big thanks to them. Of course, go and check out um, what they've sent me. I'll put the links in the description below. You guys all know and, and love cars, and I'm sure most of you already have them, but I'm pretty sure you might not have this sort of battery-powered Hoover thing, which is uh, really, really good, actually. So thank you guys so much for watching, and um, sorry I sort of missed out the interior and couldn't focus on the exterior for as much as I wanted to, but we will just have to revisit this going forward. So do let me know if you like this type of video by giving this video a thumbs up because that will really help me to indicate whether or not you like this style of video and it helps the algorithm on YouTube to promote the video so it does better as well and see the better the video does the more likely I am to do it again so please do help me out by giving this video a thumbs up comment below if you've got any questions or thoughts and just let me know that you agree how amazing this car looks I think it just looks fantastic so thanks all for watching Thanks for pairing with me on this one and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon indeed.